Welcome, welcome everyone to the live stream. Welcome Olivia Farrell, because I know she's lurking. And welcome Stephen the Biologist. And right now, we are going to do a quick face reveal. And then we're going to get into a saltwater unboxing from Aquarium Depot. So yeah, Jess from Mainstyle's Fern Fins will be joining us. All right. Face reveal in three, two, one. Ta-da! Uh, and now we're going to start. This is everything that's there. Well, this is the cooler. Uh, heat packs and some more. Should I flip it over? Grab scissors. This was a surprise for my mother. Well, I don't know what's in here. Packaged really well. There's lots of insulation. And I just spoke with Jess, so she'll be on any minute now. I just went ahead and start, started because I have school in a, in a little bit. Wow, quite the insulation. So, I'm going to move this all out of the way. And we're going to start. Alright, so... First bag, the water in the bag. Wait again, I have no, no clue what any of this is, so it's all a surprise to me. I'm gonna scoop this off to the side. And what? You can use your words. One minute. Okay. Um what? My mother's sitting right in front of me. She's making faces. They they put a lot of insulation on this. They have lots of insulation of tinfoil bubble wrap. Premium coral frag glue. Three two. Interesting. All right, now we're gonna get into the actual corals. A Florida Aquaculture certified. It's a zoo cocoa pink. They tied a little thing to the top of it so if look so it won't get damaged. Um, you'll get better pictures of it. Oh, thank you, Steven. Steven said, Oh, Bree, you're a pretty young lady. Look very intelligent. I told you nothing to worry about. You're a kid. Nobody should be talking about how you look to begin. If they do, they will get kicked off. I told you it would go just fine. Thank you. And they're all going to go in this 75-gallon tank, so I'm just going to Set them in here. Nope, they're gonna sink. It's okay. Okay. Next one is a Zoo La Lakers. This is a tiny one. I see one polyp on there. Interesting. There's not. There's not really a good view of them so i'm kind of just like saying what they are but you'll you get to see oh. later you can video them yeah I'll wait. later i'll video them oh uh, this one doesn't have but it is on it but it looks it looks like a stick connected to a a thing like 
I honestly don't know. What it's that a gorgo. Is. It's a it's a gorgon. Red. A red gorgonian. Mm-hmm. That's that's interesting. Being very delicate with them. Oh, snails. Um, they look like Astra snails. They are all alive. And a good view of that one. That one's coming out of the bag. Well, coming out of the water. So you can see they. there's a lot of waste in there. Those are pretty. That thing's going to fall. This snail is not open. I have a snail like that in my tank. You're going to have more. Oh, my gosh. Look at how small those hermit crabs are. And these aren't really a really good view, but look how small those hermit crabs are. They're literally micro. They're saltwater white leg. Saltwater white leg hermit crabs. They all look alive. There's six of them in there. There's lots of them. Oh, another coral. A Millie Pink. I think that's an LPS coral. Um, yeah, bad view, but you're going to see the best you can get. Oh. Just said, did you post the link? Let me check. My hand's wet, so it's not... Just said, um, oh, OMG, those are so cool. I am so much more excited for you, such a smart young lady. Thank you. And Steven said, you got some pretty stuff going in there, Brie. How awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this isn't my thing, but I'm jealous. Maybe I'll get pretty corals like that. I'm going to get the one that I've been looking at this entire time, the largest bag foggy it's on um, all it says is rock is this an anemone it's a flower anemone all right this is this looks like one a fl- oh sorry jess is trying to join hi jeff hey that hi. is so cool oh my volume's down oh, sorry jess is trying to oh, join one second hmm. all right i had to <laughs> YouTube, but yeah, there's a flower anemone in there. It's a very foggy day. Do those get, <clears throat> excuse me, do those get washed out like um, freshwater kind of sometimes like when they come in? Like I know a lot of times guppies when they come in, their their color is some um, fish lose their color due to stress. Yes, corals yes. normally don't. Well, corals close up, so you don't really see them. This okay. is going in this tank over here. Wow. Um, oh, this one's cute. Yeah, and they tie little strings to them so they don't get damaged. It's a zoo psych African. Um, like I said, they're all closed up, so you're not going to get a great view. Right. You kind of just see, like, the size of the bag, size of the coral. Right. This tank, all the corals are going in this tank. Okay. And the ones that, like the corals, they're all filled with water because the corals don't excrete waste. So, I didn't know that. I did not know that they did not excrete not as waste. As, I guess. Like, the over there has some waste in the bag. So that's why there's water and air and like with snails and hermit crabs. But the corals don't, so they their bags are fully filled with water. This is a zoo hurricane. Now, do corals, um, corals help filter the water right yes okay. um they because take they um absorb calcium and alkalinity calcium is actually absorbed four times faster than alkalinity that's why calcium is always being dosed um this looks like more astrea snails and they're turbos john mckenzie Good to see you, Stephen. Good to see you. These will have to be like in a bowl or something because I see a little a flea worm thing. Mm-hmm. Here, let me try and show you right on. Oh, it's 
backwards. Yeah, I don't think you could see it, but like right on that one, uh -huh. there's a little bug. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, there's a little flea on there, so it'll have to be like swirled around or something. Two more bags. Is that common with salt water? Yeah. Um, normally the snails don't get them though. Normally it's corals. Corals have like hidden worms and stuff. So even if you don't physically see it, there's probably always on there. Do you um, treat you them? them? Do you, you treat them? them? You coral dip them. Um, this one's a poly wizard. One polyp on there. Oh, that one's, yeah. Wow. I'll put that on the other side. Just a minute. And that's why those sink is because they're full of water. Yeah, yeah, they're filled to the top of water. You dip them with something like this. Coral dip. Huh. Some of them work. Some of them don't work. Well, I'm not going to name names or anything. Well, I was trying to get the glare off my this glasses. This one is a poly wizard. This one's also one poly. And that one is yours. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Now, did you say they were tied with a string? Did I see it dangling? Yes, it's dangling upside down just because if they let it float to the bottom, then when it like moves around and shipping, the coral will get damaged. Wow. Sometimes so how do they tie it to the coral though, without hurting the coral? They're on a coral frag plug, so they just tie it to the little plug on the bottom. Oh. I'm just gonna put this in here, even though it's going in my tank. Some of those snails are going in your tank too. Oh my! No <laughs> way! No way! Is this in the serious now? Did you order in the serious now? Uh, glowing snails. Glowing snails? Yeah, I've never heard Is of there those. Two of them in there. Oh yes. Yep. One for you. One for me. They look like mini serious <laughs> snails. They have little elephant trunks. Look how small those snails are. <laughs> There's two of them in there. Oh my god, I get one of these? Oh my god. Big Mama would eat something like that. We have a large clown they have a large clownfish in there called Big Mama. <laughs> <laughs> what a name. Um this looks like a hermit crab. The brown legged hermit crab. Brown legged hermit crab, one of them. I didn't know hermit crabs were salt water. Well I guess there's a different type. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's all of them. So let me try and get a better view. Let me turn my light off. Um, there's bags all over the bottom now, <laughs> and some at the top. And then over here, there's one. That's the flat. That's the anemone. Wow. And yeah, so that is cool. Yeah, I have to go back to class in 20 minutes. But okay. so um, when the coral, how are you gonna how do you attach them to what your rocks or whatever? Um, this is the first thing thing I unboxed. It's coral frag glue. You just put this on the bottom of the frag and then you okay. the rock. Or you put them in the sand, they can go in sand too. Okay. And that's it for the box. I was that's quite surprised. Awesome. Yes, but some of the hermit crabs and some of the snails are yours. I don't want hermit crab. They're weird. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I just don't want hermit crabs in my tank because they're like little legs. And, well, don't you have that mm -hmm. um, that one thing that goes in the sand? You called it a con. Yes, a con. And there's also an Asarius snail that go in the sand. This is the size of one of our hermit crabs, that large one in the front. Oh, wow. That is, that's neat, though. I think it's neat. Yeah, I think it's really... Oh, there's there's the conch that's in here. That little yellow thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a smaller conch than the one I have. Wow. So, yeah, hopefully the shrimp and guppies come tomorrow so I can unbox them. <laughs> yeah. I hope it doesn't become a um, problem. I got... Um, I still have guppies that never showed up, but it's it's not their fault. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Yeah. That's not their fault. It's USPS. Um, yeah. I still haven't got them, and it's 
11 days. Um, yeah, so they're definitely not alive. But um, I do. I don't use USPS to ship. I use US, UPS. Um, but it said four days. So it was supposed to have been there today. So surely it'll be there tomorrow. Surely. Yeah. How cold? Well, I ordered from Amazon shrimp food, and that's what I got earlier. Mm -hmm. Fluval shrimp. Oh, bread. yeah. I like Fluval shrimp. Yeah. So oh, okay. like, let's see. What do I have? I've also got. Um, welcome, John McKenzie and Sandra Farrell, who's sitting right in front of me. And Maine's Tales for and Fence. Um, yeah, I think we're going to coral dip them. Coral dip each individual coral just so they don't have any parasites or anything. Shrimp King is also really good. Oh, yeah, that's on our LFS. Yeah, it's, it is really good. It's like a good complete, but they're little sticks. Yeah. And um, golly, they love them. Love them. Yeah, so there's there's quite a lot of snails, quite a lot of everything. So I'm going to tape some footage of them in the bags on my phone and then record some... Yeah, you should... When they're in the tanks. Yeah. Once their color comes in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for definitely. That would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be cool. So, yeah, I think that's all. Only like a 17-minute live stream. Okay. But, yeah, that was fun. That's fun. Yeah. I hope it. I hope they come in tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to get them to UPS because <laughs> that's why I use them because I don't have issues with them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool, Brie. I'm excited. For yeah. you. I'll either record a video and post it later, or I'll just go live for like five minutes later. Before right. I, well, just I, remember, I you won't this tonight. Just remember, though, you want to do live, but you also want to have videos. So, yeah. Um, I have. I, don't know. I have a few of them coming out today. Okay. Two of them okay. are scheduled. Okay. Go. Good deal. Let's see. Wait. Uh, Steve says anemones, different things, and some big saltwater fish. I had a lionfish in there for a long time, but he eats the corals too much, so he had to move. I love lionfish. Oh, yeah, my they're gorgeous. Gosh, they are so gorgeous. Yeah, my aquarium here in town has got a tank full of a bunch of them, which I didn't know you could put them together, but they god, they're pretty. Yeah, yeah, so I think we're gonna go. All right. Well, I'll, I'll either go live around like 4 30, 5 o'clock ish, just to show them real quick. Sounds or, good. All right. Thank you all for joining. And hello, Rocco's Fish Room. We joined the last minute. Um, <laughs> Better and like Rocco, than ever. Rocco will be coming out with, well, on the live stream on Saturday, we'll have Amy from Sand Creek Aquatics too. And we'll have me, the host, yeah. and then our co host. Lovely co-host, Jess from Maine's Tales for and Fins. Um, Thank you. So, yeah. And I already planned out what we're going to do on Saturday, kind of how I'm going to show everybody Ooh. how we do salt water. And, fish yeah. Fantastic friend, fish Fantastic Fish Friends. Hi, Fantastic Fish Friends. And Rocco hey. said hi, Sandy. Okay. That's so, yeah. Great. Well, thank you all for coming. A lot of you joined last minute, but I appreciate every one of you. That's right. And now I'm going to end. Y'all later. <laughs>